I'm excited for our boys. I, I think they found a, a renewed sense of community in, in them. Um, I think they're excited to show uh, our fans what they're all about. And, and, and for us as a staff, I think it is something, especially most of us who played here or been around here before. It, it's, it's a special place, and, and we're excited for that. I think, I think we were really excited to play in the big stadiums, but I think it's, it's a definitely a refresher to, to come home and, and have somebody cheer for us for a change. Yeah, we just got to learn from our mistakes. Um, we, made, we made a lot of mistakes in the Michigan game. Um, we didn't capitalize on very many of their mistakes. So um, just get in the film room, learn from the mistakes, and um, we can't let uh, the loss in Michigan affect us this week. It's a new week, um, one snap and clear, one game and clear, and we're ready um, to go out and put on a show for the home fans. The Tennessee Martin team on defense poses some unique challenges because of their scheme. Um, we'll get some eight-man drop. We'll also get some zero pressure. We'll, we'll, it's, it's, it's a fairly unique scheme, and, and we need to make sure we're dialed in for that uh, offensively also. I'm trying to stay level. I mean, obviously, you don't want to underestimate a team. Um, FCS teams have come out and beat FBS teams um, all the time, so we're just trying to stay prepared and, and, and really treat them like any other opponent. Treat them like Michigan, treat them like Cal, um, and just play our hardest and, and, and execute to our, our best ability and hopefully get the win. I'm super excited. Um, my family gets to come up uh, from the Big Island to watch the game, but um, the game is still played in between the two sidelines, so we're still focused on the game, but it's definitely exciting to uh, have that home opener.